Hey guys, today I am making a loaded vegetable soup. Now I'm gonna make this in my crock pot, but you can totally make it on your stove top. Just cook it until all these vegetables are soft. Now I'm gonna show you how to make this um, without any meat if you just are wanting to load up on vegetables, but you could totally throw in some chicken breasts or like ground turkey to give you some added protein, and especially if you wanna make this a heartier soup if you're serving it as like a main dish. So, I'm gonna just jump right in and get started. So I've got my slow cooker here. This is a six quart slow cooker. So you want it to be pretty big because we're gonna fit a lot of stuff in here. I'm just gonna spray some nonstick cooking spray because that always helps with cleanup. And then we're gonna just jump right in. Sorry about my baby in the background. This is, this is life, making dinner for your family. So I've got one onion that I've chopped up and then I'm gonna add about a pound of potatoes. Now I just did red potatoes and I kept the skins on. I scrubbed the skins and then I'm just keeping them on because that's where a lot of the nutrients are. So dump in your potatoes. And then I just chopped up one big sweet potato. I love the color of sweet potatoes, plus the flavor is really good. And then I just cut up some baby carrots. If you're using big carrots, I would say do about two whole carrots. Chop them up. And then I'm gonna do just two stalks of celery. You can go, you can dice those as small as you want or as big as you want, doesn't matter. And then right here I've got a can of diced tomatoes. I didn't even drain it. I'm just gonna dump the whole thing right in. And then I told you this soup is loaded with vegetables, so I am dumping in a whole bag of frozen mixed vegetables. This one has carrots and peas and green beans and corn. You can really do any vegetables in this soup, it doesn't matter. Okay, then I've got some fresh parsley, about a quarter cup, dump that in. And now we're gonna add our spices and seasoning. So I've got two cloves of garlic, chopped up or minced, whatever you want it to be. Throw that in there. And then I'm gonna do just salt to taste. You can do as much or as little as you want. And the great thing is you can always add salt later too, um, after it's done cooking to see you know, how much more flavor it needs. This is just some ground black pepper. Uh, probably do like a quarter teaspoon, just give it a couple twists. Okay, and then garlic salt, you can also use garlic powder. Just kind of put some on there. Um, Allspice, this is not necessary, it's completely optional, but it does give it a really good flavor. And you don't need very much because it's pretty powerful. I'd say maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. And then this one's also optional, this is crushed red pepper. It doesn't really add heat, it adds kind of just some flavor. So put that on there. Now, if you wanted to add protein like chicken, this would be the time to do it. But it's totally good without that also. And then I'm just gonna add four cups of chicken broth. Now, if you want this to be completely vegetarian, you could definitely use vegetable broth. Just kind of use whatever you have on hand. Okay, and there you go. Let me grab a spoon to stir it. I'm gonna give it a good mix, and then you're just gonna cook this on low until your vegetables are tender. I would say um, maybe three to four hours on low, and then check it and see if your sweet potatoes and your red potatoes are soft. If not, you could go another hour or so until they are soft. But that's it, you are completely done. Um, I love those dinners where you can just kind of dump it, set it, and forget it. Um, this recipe we actually used in our healthy weekly menu plan. If you haven't checked that out, be sure to um, click on the link because it, we will email you six healthy recipes every week, two side dishes, and a healthy dessert. And all of those recipes are under 500 calories a serving, plus we have a shopping list. Um, so that it makes shopping and meal planning super easy. So that's it for today. I hope that you guys have a good one and we will see you next time.